it is 5.30 in the morning and we are about to pull out and head to Chicago. Let's go! The drive was long, but we had these beautiful, delicious donuts to keep us fueled and ready to go. So when we got there, we could take on this move. Because I'm an amputee with an upper arm limb difference, I can't do a whole lot of lifting. So my family and friends had to do a lot of the grunt work. Thanks guys. I did have several jobs though. I had to stay by the truck in this smelly little alcove to make sure nobody stole anything. And then I had to stay by the elevator to make sure nobody stole anything before doing the real work, organizing. There's something so wholesome and so on brand about my new kettle being the first thing that I find in my boxes to unpack on this moving day. Time to spill the tea. Less than 20 minutes into unpacking and I was already sweating. So the hair had to go up. Progress is progress is progress is progress is progress. I just knew that unpacking my clothes and organizing my closet was going to be my least favorite part of the entire move process, and I was not wrong. It sucked. I was truly appalled by how many clothes I have. It is very clear to me that I need to do a deep purge and a reorganization of this space. So if you want to see that, be sure to hit that subscription button and notification bell because we're doing it together. But seriously, this is a mess. Where have these clothes lived for the last six months in my tiny childhood home? Let me say, I definitely worked up an appetite. Natasha, what do we always do when we get together? We eat pizza. And where are we right now? <laughs> we're at Giordano's. After all that work, I was in some desperate need of hydration and cheese. And cheese did I get. Just look at this. Not too shabby. And we have some leftovers too. After pizza, we went to the grocery store quick and then came back for more unpacking, which I clearly was in the mood to do. All these drawers, all the space, and it is filled because I'm a menace and I have too much makeup. Isn't that right? Girl, you don't even want to see how much makeup I have. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a normal person size collection of makeup, I think. Okay, it's not a competition, my No, I'm saying you have a good size. Like, this is how it should be. I know. I'm proud. I, but I I'm also bringing you more makeup, so. <laughs> I've condensed, actually. I got rid of so much. Yeah, don't, I, I do that every once in a while because I'm like, you ever just like smell a makeup product and you're like, I don't need to keep this. Yes, like, this vlog. I am not the cinematographer of the friend group. <laughs> Why is the blind person the cinematographer? I don't know. You <laughs> ask us that, my friends, or, or answer us that. That riddle, riddle us that. Riddle me this. Riddle me this. Riddle me this. Riddle us that. Okay, I'm ending it. <laughs> Remember my hatred for all the clothes I had? Well, we ran out of hangers, so I had to go buy more. We are so freaking close. There are no lights in this living room. What even? How did I not realize that on my tour? Uh, gonna have to get some lamps. <laughs> this was supposed to be my laundry detergent holder and instead it has become a bar and snack cart under a sign that says follow your dreams. Absolutely iconic. 9 p.m. is cereal time. And just like that, Moving day is done. I am exhausted. It's like 10.30 p.m. right now. My parents just left. My aunt and uncle just left. It has been the longest day. Remember, we got up at 4.30 a.m., but it was so unbelievably heartwarming to have so many people show up for me today to help me move from one of my childhood friends to one of my new friends here in Chicago, Natasha, to my aunt and uncle from Ohio, to my parents who are endlessly supportive, 
to my dad's dear old friend from high school. We were surrounded by love today. We were surrounded by so much joy. And the fact that that is how I got to christen this apartment, if you will, is just perfect. It is just the perfect energy, the perfect vibe to make this space a home, to make this space mine, and to truly blossom into everything that I'm supposed to be in this new chapter, this new era of life. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and coming along this epic journey with me. It has been a journey and the journey is not over yet. Not even close. We still have several furniture deliveries to go through. We have an internet setup to get through. I definitely need to reorganize my closet. I need to figure out where Natasha put everything in the kitchen. I just need to like figure things out. I have to figure out how to work my dishwasher and my washer dryer. It's going to be a time. If you want to see how it all turns out, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye!